With the price of SSDs plummeting like crazy, in North America at least, I got each of these for about $100 Canadian, which is $70 American. Kind of budget drives, and I wanted to do a test on both of them to see how they perform and see if they're worth uh, picking up and which one would be better, considering they're basically the same price. And they're both high performance drives and they're only missing two little crosses. So they should, in theory, perform almost the same. On the back here, we can see they have kind of the same narrative. However, this one mentions TLC and QLC and AND, the burst delete. This one doesn't. I'm not sure whether it, which one does and which one doesn't. We'll just have to test it out. So the first thing I did was I reached out to Patriot Support because I was a little confused as to what the difference between the two drives was. Um, so you can see here, oh, this is just an email chain from uh, last month uh, when I reached out to them. So basically I asked what the difference was between the two drives other than the fact that they're a tiny little bit different in size. And they basically said that the uh, Burst Elite has uh, data over provisioning, uh, which you can see here. So it says about 7%. Um, and then they basically said that's what it's for. Some people don't want that and they want you know maximum storage. So then they go for the Patriot 210. For those who don't mind losing a little bit for provisioning, then they go for you know that one. Um, and then I went over to the link here, uh, where did it go here? And because I didn't know what data over provisioning was, and I mean, you can look it up, but this is the link they actually sent me here. And basically it looks like it's for, uh, you know, cleaning up the data and uh, looking for issues. So it's basically, in theory, gonna uh, extend the longevity of your uh, SSD, in theory. I don't know if that's actually true or not, but that's what it seems like it's gonna do, and that's probably what it's gonna do. So I guess the Burst Elite may have a little bit better lifespan, in theory. I don't know, we'll have to see. I did some digging here to look into the drives and I found these data sheets. Uh, so the P210 and the Burst Elite over here. Um, let's actually flip them because I had them in the other order before. So we can see here that the Burst Elite has uh, you know, slightly lower write speeds in theory. So 450 and 320. Over here 520 and 430. They both have a three-year warranty. Um, you know, they're the Burst Elite is technically slightly slower, basically on paper at least here. And the P210 has better endurance, which is weird because the over provisioning thing kind of made it seem like it would be longer. I don't know. Maybe that's going to do with something else. I don't know. But it looks like the Patriot should last longer in theory, basically on this. Uh, so then I did my own tests. So, uh, you know, I put them both in my computer and I tested them out. So on, when they're not filled here, you can see empty and empty. We have left here, the Burst Elite. On the right, we have the P210. Uh, their base they're both going to come up with almost the exact same speed. That's margin of error identical. So you can see here, you know, 555, 555. So when they're empty, you know, it's basically as expected. I did Addo as well. So we can compare the difference here in different uh, chunk sizes, cluster sizes, and uh, same thing. So basically 500-ish megabytes a second read and write. Um, that's going to be the spec, and it's as expected. So they're both performing quite well, to be honest. So I don't know, maybe they misunder, misrepresented on the data sheet, or maybe that's a smaller size. I don't know. But the 2 terabyte one, or 1.9 terabyte one is fast. Uh, and so then what I did is I started filling them up. So I put huge data sizes here. So you can see uh, this one, you know, I moved a terabyte over here, you know, 900 or so, whatever it is. So when they're relatively empty, you can see here that the burst delete is quite quick, 500 megabytes, 379 megabytes, whatever. And then the P210, same idea, it's quite fast. When they start to fill up, um, they started to drop down. The Burst Elite especially dropped way down in speed, um, and it basically, you know, tanked, and I was getting like 5 megabytes a second up to 50 megabytes a second. The uh, P210 kind of sat around 50 or so, but it was still, you know, pretty slow. Um, however, that was after writing like 80 or 90 gigabytes, so um, whatever it is, maybe that's when the, the cache or whatever is expired or whatever it is, uh, you know, that first chunk over here around, I would say around 80 or 90 gigabytes was fast, super fast, um, you know, up to 300, 400 megabytes a second, maybe 500. And then once that bit was filled, it just dropped way down. And I basically left these things to run like overnight. It was like hours. It says over here like an hour or so. It took that long. And then this one here, you can see here, um, you know, about the same size and it says three hours. Um, so the Burst Elite, once it gets really full, once you move a huge amount of data, the Burst Elite absolutely crawls. Then what I did is I filled up the drives. So you can see here they're more or less the same uh, based on the you know max capacity. I tried to get them around the same. And then I ran the benchmarks again. So this is where things get interesting. You can see here that the Burst Elite, when it's full or relatively full, uh, you know this Crystal benchmark looks fine. However, Addo benchmark tanks. So you can see here 
Um, you know, it's kind of all over the place, you know, around here. And I ran this a few times to kind of see if it was going to be different. It's basically the same. So, you know, it does drop down, not quite half, but you're losing, I don't know, 40% speeds, even on these like synthetic bench parks when it's full. However, the P210 didn't make a difference. You can see here it's relatively full and I wrote the data and it's the same as it was up here. Um, so you can see there, it's basically 500 versus, you know, this one's all over the place. So what that suggests to me is that one is TLC and one's not. On what I can, what I can gather online, um, the P210 is a TLC drive. One of the advantages is that when a TLC drive is full or relatively full, in theory, it won't slow down as much in terms of the reads, which we're seeing here. You know, it's pretty full and the reads are rock solid. No problems there whatsoever. The Burst Elite says on the package that it uses QLC and TLC, but basically it's a QLC drive. And you can see here that when the drive is pretty full, you know, 70 or so, 75, 80%, the reads start to really tank. Um, and if we filled it up even more, you know, way up, it would probably tank down even further. Um, so between the two of them, you know, they're both basically the same price. They're like a $4 difference. The Burst is like $4 cheaper. Personally, I would recommend the P210 uh, because it appears to be a TLC drive, which means that, you know, you're going to use these as a gaming drive and you're going to load them full of games. You're probably not using it for anything else. And then when you do that, even though it's really full, you're still going to get nice reads on that. So it's going to be good when it's loaded full of games. The Burst Elite, um, you're going to start losing speeds once you fill it up. And so you're not going to want to fill it up.